Hello, grade three. Today we will learn bound. Now, open page 11, exercise five. Complete by the nearest ten. Instead of the word complete, write bound. Bound by the nearest ten. Now, I'm going to display the hundred chart for you. It has number from one to hundred. Now, 64, I have here 64. Could you show me 64 and the 100 chart? Yes, it's over here. Now, what does it mean the 10 just before 64? It means what is the first number that has zero before 64? It's 60. Now, the 10 just after, it means what is the number that has zero after 64 it's 70 so 64 it's between 60 and 70 i have another way look at this i underline the tens digit six tens it means 60 then i add one on the tens digit so six plus one it will be Seven tenths. Seven tenths, it means 70. Now, the same for the other number. Here, I will underline. I will underline the tens digit seven. So seven, it means 70. Plus one, it will be seven plus one, it will be eight tenths. It means 80. The same here, I underline the tens digit, four tens, it means 40, plus one tens, it means 50. The same here, eight tens, it means 80, plus one ten, it means 90. Bound by the nearest tens, now open page 18, exercise three, the same steps. 53 between 50 and 60, 35 between 30 and 40, 68 between 60 and 70. Write down the answers on your book, then open page 17. Now we have to bound by the nearest 100. So the first step, you have to do it here. You have to underline the 100 digit. Okay. Here I have 400. Here I have 500, here I have 600, now here 300, 700, uh-oh, there is no 100 digit, I'm going to write 0, there is no 100, remember, now, look at this, 400, so, for 165, it's between 400, then I will add one on the hundred digit. So 400 plus 100, it will be 500. The same here, 500, 500, 600. Now 690, it's between 600 and 700. Now I'm going to explain the last part here. As I said, there is no hundred digit. So 89, it's between zero and the first number that has 100 is 100. Thanks for watching.